In the previous videos, we have learned that how to apply Hada math gate on some qubit. We have learned that this is the formula that we can use to apply Hada math gate on qubit x and find our answer. But now we are given this equation where we have superposition of multiple qubits and we have to apply Hada math gate on this superposition. We can solve this by repeatedly applying this formula on four different superpositions of qubits. That means we have to solve an equation which has eight times four terms and this will take substantial amount of time. Instead, in this video we will learn our tabular method which will give us answer of this equation much quickly. So let's start. My table will have four rows and two raised to power three equals to eight columns. So here is my table. The first row will be about 0, 0, 0. The second row will be about 1, 1, 0. The third row will be about minus 1, 0, 0. And the fourth row will be about minus 1, 1, 1. And the number of columns will be the all possible superpositions of three qubits. So I will have here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 1. So that is my table. Now I have to put entries in this table and each entry of this table is a sign which could be either positive or negative. Now how to find if my entry is a positive sign or negative sign? Let's consider this example. Here I have these two ones. So I will only check the first two locations because the first two locations here have ones. I will ignore the third location because it has a zero in it. And because we're using this formula in the background, so 0 and 0 or 0 and 1 will be 0. So I'm ignoring the third location. I'm only checking the first two locations. And if the first two locations, in this case, have even number of 1s, then my sign will be positive. And if the first two locations have odd number of 1s, my sign will be negative. So in this case, I have no one, so my sign will be positive. In this case, I have no one, my sign will be positive. I have one one, so my sign will be negative because one is an odd number. I have one one, I, my sign will be negative. My sign will be negative because of those two locations. Once again, because of those two locations, my sign will be negative. I will see the first two locations and my sign will be positive. Now, check this one. Although the total number of ones here are odd because I have three ones but I have to ignore the last location so I will ignore the last location I will only see the first two location and because I have even number of ones in the first two locations so my sign will be positive now the same idea I will use again and again so in this case I have to ignore the last two locations and only have to check the first location and Whenever in the first location I have 1, then my sign will be negative. If I have 0, my sign will be positive. So in this case, the first location has 0, so my sign should, must be positive. 0, sign must be positive. First location has 0, sign must be positive. 0, positive, 1, negative, 1, negative, negative, negative. So when I have 1 in the first location, my sign is negative. When I have 0, my sign is positive. However, I have a minus sign here and because of this minus sign, I have to flip all of those signs. So because of this minus, this will become minus, 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 minus and these will become positive, 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 positive. The same idea I have to use here. Now in this case, I have all zeros. That means I have to ignore whatever written here and my sign will always be positive. In case I have a negative here, 
then my sign would, would always be negative. But in this case, my sign will always be positive. I don't have to even look what is written above. So positive, 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 positive. What about this case? In this case, I must not ignore any of those locations because I have all ones. And I have to count if number of ones are even or odd. Whenever I have even number of ones, my sign will be positive. For odd number of ones, my sign must be negative. So here I have even number of ones, positive sign, negative, negative, positive, negative because I have odd number of ones. I have now even number of ones, positive, even, positive, odd, negative. Once again, I have a negative sign here. So all of those signs must flip. So this will become negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive. That's it. My table is complete. And now I can find my final answer at the end. So what will be my final answer? First of all, I have to write this 1 over square root of 4 outside. Secondly, I must also write this 1 over square root 2 raised to power n. So because I'm applying Hadamard gate on 3 qubits, so I have to write here 1 over square root of 2 raised to power 3. And now I have to find my answer based upon these signs. In this case, positive will cancel with negative and positive will cancel with this negative. So I will not write anything here. In this case, uh, my positive will cancel with negative, but these two positive will add. So my answer will be 2 get 0, 0, 1. I'm done with these two columns. In this case, my positive and negative will cancel from each other. So I don't have to write anything. In this case, I have to write minus 2, minus 2, get 0, 1, 1. Because this positive will cancel with this negative. But then I'm left with these two negatives, which I have to add. And my result will be minus 2, get uh, 0, 1, 1. I'm done with this one and done with this one. Now for this, these two cancel, my result will be plus 2, 1, 0, 0. I'm done with this one. And for this, everything will cancel with each other. I don't have to write anything. And in this case, my result will be plus 2, 1, 1, 0. And in this case, my result will be plus 4. 1, 1, 1. So that's my final result. I can obviously uh, take this 2 as common and then this 2 will cancel with this 1 over square root of 4. Otherwise, this result is my final answer. So that's it. This table method, which is just a representation of this formula, is able to compute our result much more faster as compared to if we apply this formula individually on each of those terms. So that's it for this video. See you next time. Bye.